Okay, so I am here with Anna Malikian. Am I pronouncing your last name correctly? Yes, perfectly, Anna Malikian. Mm -hmm. Right. And Anna is my mentor in the Book Yourself Solid mentoring program as well as the co as well as the coaching program which I've been a part of for the past year or so. Um, and and Anna is what's called an elite level certified book yourself solid coach. So that means that it, any ideas that I have, she's like at least 20% better, at least. But not only that, she's also a PhD. And so um, I love, so Anna, I love the combination of experience that you bring because you're essentially a, uh, a solopreneur, I'm assuming you work out of yes. your office and you come from Portugal and you have this background in academia and here you are as a highly successful online marketer, coach, and um, person that's in the inner circle of New York Times bestseller Michael Port. So, um, that, so, so please give us the backstory about how you created this fantastic life for yourself. Mm -hmm. So, and but first of all, I have to say that to have students like you or a co uh, coaches like you in the training is amazing because, like we were speaking before we start recording, is what you have achieved uh, in a short amount of time by keeping your focus by following the book yourself solid system is like you are a great case study for people to really learn from. So, well, I'm very very proud <laughs> of all that you are doing with the book yourself solid. System system. And, uh, I, I, and another thing amazing about the Book Yourself Solid system, and that is why I love it, is that it's really designed from the ground up to help people that don't like marketing and sales. That Absolutely. was my case. Yes. Um, like you say, I came from academia. My background is psychology. I was in Portugal. I was teaching in a private university there. I had my private uh, practice also there. And then by reasons of the art, <laughs> I, I came to a conference that was not uh, was professionally. I came to a conference to present a paper in Phoenix, Arizona. This was back in 2001. And I met who became my husband now. So that was the reason of the art, why I moved here to the United States. And I had to professionally, because the psychology licensing here in the United States is very different than in Europe. Mm -hmm. I have to rethink very seriously what I wanted to do professionally. And I took advantage of that obstacle that was really a door that shot in front of my, uh, in front of my nose and right. smashed my nose a little. That gave me the opportunity to look around and see what do I really want to do, what, where I want to apply my skills. And it was at that time that I decided to do extra training to become a life coach. Uh, because I love personal development was something that during my training and when I was training at the psychotherapist, we, very important for me was personal development. So life coaching, helping people in that realm seemed perfect fit for me. So I got training as a life coach, another certification, yeah. And then... And, and, I, <laughs> and if I can jump in really quickly. So, you know, I, you know with, with coaches, and I, and I love kind of your insight, and this kind of ties into... Um, what we're talking about just before about the uh, essentialism, which is just doing the few things that matter as you build your business. Um, so, you know, I, I love personal development as well. You know, I've, I've always considered myself, you know, just, just as a joke, I say I'm a personal development junkie. And it wasn't until I really made a commitment to a system that my life started to change. Because before I would read book after book after book, I'd be always inspired by ideas, but my life wasn't reflecting what I wanted. And it wasn't until I first got involved in Dale Carnegie training and really committed to it. And then second, I got involved in the Michael Port world and really committed to it that my life really began to change. And it's the thing, it's very easy. I love to work with lifelong learners, people that really love to keep learning during all their lives. But the other side of the coin is that lifelong learners like I am right. and like the people that I like to work with, like it's very, uh, very easy to follow. The, uh, another thing to learn, yeah, another shining <laughs> object. Let's check how it is. It's so, so, so natural for us to right. keep. But then that stops us on that so important part of the execution. 
Right. We have to make things happen. Yes. So as to, I think uh, uh, we have to learn to live with that dichotomy, with that opposition in ourselves, right. because part of this desire of learning new stuff is what makes us be good in what we do. Right. But at the same time, learn how to focus. I always get, like speaking about essentialism that um, that is now one uh, one of my favorite books that I was, uh, I really l- think uh, it synthesizes this message so well and uh, reflects one of the things that I always try to coach my clients with that I always say that most self-employed professionals are like uh, an incandescent light bulb the mm-hmm. traditional Edison bulb right. of uh, that uh, very pretty amazing if we think about uh, the evolution that was from the a candle it's really amazing and if we, but they are, the light goes in all the directions and right. they, they are like four watt light bulb that uh, you can see a little bit at night but during the day if there is much more light around you really don't know if it's on and off because the energy goes in every direction right. and what we have to learn is that once we know where we want to go we have to learn to focus yes. and if, we have to th- if, it, if there, i can jump in really quickly yeah. um cuz cuz this brings up a, a thought that you know, really, you, you know, really kind of outside of, of, well, part of Book Yourself Solid, but kind of outside of it, you helped change my life. And the story, just like to briefly share, is that, um, you know, and it really relates to this idea of focus, is that it was October of this, of 2014, <laughs> and we were at one of our, our live Book Yourself Solid mentoring group events. Um, you, Gary Johnson, and me were sitting down before anything Don't- began. And we had a conversation that would go on to change my life and lives of others. And just the brief version is, is that Gary and I were sitting on our butts for way too long in terms of actually focusing on getting our Book Yourself Solid certification. And we started thinking, okay, how can we, you know, just set a date and get it done? You introduced the concept of uh, anti-cause. So in other words, we committed that by X date, we're going to finish the certification or we're going to pay $500 to a charity or organization or cause or politician that we didn't like. That was that was your <laughs> contribution. And that one concept went on to then create a, a group I've created called Fight Club, Breakfast Club. And there's people around the world now who are very focused on making their lives happen by this concept of focus. And I, and I just want to attribute that, that kernel, that, that idea to you. And we have to credit I, I, that I didn't invent that concept. This is something that I learned from psychotherapy, one of the models of psychotherapy ca- that came from Milton Erickson and um, Jay Holly in his book, Ordeal Therapy, speaks a lot. Um, in another of their books, he speaks a lot about these ways. How can we help people to, to get things and to achieve things? And, and that is one of the concepts that I learned from my past as a psychotherapist that we can uh, use now in coaching tool and uh, very, very helpful. And it's like that because that, that idea and the amazing thing why I like that, another thing that I come a lot from my training in psychotherapy, I use a lot of metaphors, a lots of images. And I love the image of the light bulb because it's th- that same, and this is a physical fact, that same four watt of energy, if you give it the right focus, in other words, it, if you put it in the right alignment, mm-hmm like in a laser beam, you can have a four watt laser beam that can burn a hole in a wall. Wow. It's exactly the wow. same amount of energy. The right. only difference, one, is totally dispersed, like so many self-employed professionals right. that we know, right. starting. And once they get the right focus, the right alignment, their power is the same power. They don't have to get more right. power than they already have. It's just a question of keeping their eyes on their goal and right. go for it. I, they really can make an impact. I, I love that analogy because I feel that that's what's happened for me um, just, you know, in the recent past. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, I don't feel that I'm special at all. I feel I'm very mm-hmm. ordinary. And it was simply taking a system like Book Yourself Solid that really resonated with my core values um, and then applying that focus every month to what I need to do to make my, my, my dreams come alive. 
and it was simply those two those two concepts that you know my business is taking off um, my you know my projected revenue going forward is you know to increase fifty percent every quarter with no end in sight um, one one thing I wanted to just maybe bring up and have you comment on is you know I believe that you know, to me, being a self-employed professional is, you know, is living the dream, you know, you know, and we don't have any bosses other than our own demands we put on ourselves. Um, we can create all the revenue that we desire without limit. Um, we can really live life on our own terms. And that's very important to me because my core value is freedom. Um, and so you come from this background of academia. And one of the things that I think is so powerful about Book Yourself Solid is that it's a it's a sales and marketing system that you know is unlike most people's ideas of sales and marketing. Meaning that you don't have to be this annoying, um, pushy salesperson. <laughs> salesperson. But really, it's about creating genuine relationships. It's about having influence. And so I think that if more um, self you know more professionals that would love to be self employed professionals but are stuck in a career, not really tapping into all their talents, if they knew how yeah. they could transition, I think that I think there's so much opportunity there. So just please share your thoughts on that, on that co and, topic. And it's totally, I agree totally. And that is what, how I found the Book Yourself Solid system. So like I said, I had got the training to become a life coach and I decided really to transform my coaching from a hobby to a business because that is what happens to many times people t take all the training to become coaches and then they have a hobby an expensive hobby um, but when you want to make a profit make a business serve and help more people you really have to have also a marketing and sales system behind yes. it yes. but uh, we and the, the coaching schools in general they are great and uh, I'm a member of the International Coach Federation and, and I admire the work that the ICF has done in terms of um, uh, creating accredited programs that are really excellent quality mm -hmm. in training on the coaching skills. Right. Yet, I'm very critical about that they don't train in the business skills. Right. And if we want to, find, uh, to really build coaching as a profession, professional coach, mm -hmm. and most of the coaches are what we call external coaches, um, the, so they work by themselves. They are not internal coaches. They work in a company. So they have their own business as external coach. Mm -hmm. They have to know how to run a business. Right. Otherwise, they are not having a profession. It's a hobby. So, and I was in that situation. I, I with my background and training, I had a great, uh, I was a, a very good life coach. Yes. I'm very proud of it. But where were the clients? I, I right. got clients, so they say battering, low price. I was getting clients, but right. that doesn't sustain a business. And right. it's not good for the professional the profession of coaching if we are giving our service away. So Absolutely. I was... I was looking and I was look. I want to wear the home based business because we were uh, starting out with my little girl. She, she was less than about one year old at the time. So uh, I, I was really fighting with that and how other people are doing. And that is where my academia background comes back mm. into place. Because, okay, if you have a problem, let's study, right. research and find a solution. Right. And there were other people doing it. So I try and to learn from what are the people doing, but there's also loads of BS out there, to be honest with you, yes. it's really, uh, and people well, is not, sometimes. Not, uh, uh, not just BS, but what the, the kind of concept that I've kind of honed in is that, you know, different systems work. I mean, you know, you can go and, and spam a thousand people and, and maybe one person will respond. Yeah. And that's unfortunately what most people think of sales and marketing. Yeah. Um, so different systems work. But the one thing that I learned for myself and, is that it, it needs to be a system that resonates with, with you. who you are as a person. That's the only way to really create that future you want. Yes, and sometimes uh, there are many uh, well-intentioned people that um, they things work for them. They really struck luck or they were very good in a strategy and they work and then they build the program around that, what worked for them. Right. 
with the illusion that is going to work for everybody. Right. And what I love about the work that Michael Port, the creator of the Book Yourself Solid System, did, it really, it really managed to bring together a lot of what we know that it works for service professionals right. in a very comprehensive system that is being tested time after time right. and that people, different service professionals can adapt to their needs of their businesses and can build a system that is in alignment with their values. That, and that for me is fundamental. Now, I've, I've discovered because Book Yourself Solid is really, in terms of the book, you know, it, it, it talks in terms of service professionals broadly speaking. A lot of the examples in there are service professionals um, broadly speaking, although when I first joined the mentoring group just over a year ago, um, you know, I found that most of the people, at least in his mentoring group, were coaches of all different stripes. At that time, I was the oddball because at that time I ran an office products company, and so um, I felt very unique in that sense. Mm -hmm. um, do you find, um, or, or just what are your thoughts about in terms of because because absolutely you know it's it's used for serv or it can be used for service professionals broadly speaking. I found I could connect the dots myself myself as an office products guy. Um, and I could still use a system outside of being a service professional because my business was really relationship based, even though I sold mm -hmm. products. Um, but at the same time, it seems to really attract coaches in terms of the people that are really willing to invest. I mean, just that's been my perception. So please share your thoughts on that. And you will find, I'll just say, you, uh, in the mentoring program with Michael, you'll find a little bit of diversity, but th there is a big group of coaches. But you also fi find people with a brick and traditional brick and mortar kind of businesses. Okay. Um, but the system is really geared and uh, for service professionals, yes. somebody that has a service or somebody like you that even in the product industry, you knew that you could be much more successful having all this uh, relationship-based business because well, that's, uh, the service professional cannot run away that their business is uh, a relationship business. And, and that's what I discovered because, you know, even though, you know, it, it talks in terms of service professionals and, you know, by that definition, I was more of a products guy, you know, I could not stand the garbage that was being shoved down my throat in terms of the sales advice and marketing mm -hmm. advice in the office products industry. And that's one of the reasons I wasn't as successful as I believe I should have been was that because, you know, all the messaging I was getting um, was it did not resonate with me. And it wasn't until I discovered Book Yourself Solid and it really resonated with me that I could easily connect the dots between my business and, and the Book Yourself Solid method. But then, you know, I just started to really, you know, get on fire because, um, you know, it's like now I have a system that I can apply yes. and start really making money. I mean, it was such a, a, a shift and such a, a relief that now, now, now I can unleash myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and that is the thing why I think we we attract so many coaches or consultants is uh, because of that that people realize that they have an incredible some people amazing experiences or speakers or people thought leaders they have so much to offer, uh, uh, but they feel that their message is not heard. They they are not making an impact. And what belonging to a program like the mentoring program with Michael Port and applying the Book Yourself Solid System with any of the certified coaches like you, mm -hmm. uh, really, I would say, can make the difference of being a great service professional that knows that makes a, a difference in a couple of people's lives, that is the ones that know that uh, what they do and what the, how impactful and important is what they do to really being out there helping much more people and uh, really making a difference in a bigger scale. I, I decided, you know, um, I've been a, a health coach for Take Shape for Life, um, helping people successfully lose weight for the past eight or nine months. That's based off my own story of losing 150 pounds over 17 months. And at that time, my, my market was professionals, kind of broadly speaking. You know, I was resistant to this concept of you know, choosing a target market. So I kind of created one, but it, it was very broad. Um, now that I'm just you know, a few months into building my, my new business or my, my second coaching business, you know, I have so much fun coaching, I just need to build more businesses, right? So now that I'm a few months into building my second coaching business as a Book Yourself Solid Coach, I was thinking about my target market, and it was after a conversation with 
um, your colleague and, and my mentor, Jason Billows, that it just really struck me that the people that I love most and I just, you know, I just enjoy so much hanging out with, it's not even work, it's just play, but, you know, for some reason I get to charge them, is coaches. And, yeah. and part of that reason is that, you know, they're into personal development, so we're completely aligned. I mean, we can go on for, for hours, if not days, talking about, you know, all the books that you have behind you. Um, and it's just because, to me, coaches make such a big help other people in such a profound way, you know, my mission really has become, I want to help them just build these thriving businesses so that they can have yeah. more impact on, on, on the world. Yeah, and, and and that totally totally resonated with me because that was my like uh, my awareness moment, like my whoa epiphany, when because I was coming from psychotherapy, helping one person at the time or a family. I also work in family therapy, but it was a small group of people at the time. Then as a life coach again, I was helping one person of the time and making an impact there. And then when I decided to become a marketing coach and with the Book Yourself Solid System, a certified coach, I realized how much more impact could I have by helping other professionals that are making a difference to reach more people. Right. Uh, the ripple effect of my own work was yes. much stronger. Yes. And I think is that the secret is that we have to have very clear who is the avatar of our ideal client. Yes. Who are the people with whom we do our best work with? Yes, and and I'm I'm really starting to experience that because as I've really you know before I enjoyed my work, but now I'm just like it's freaking amazing. I mean, it's just like I get paid for this, you know. that that is the secret. When you ask that question, I cannot believe that time flies. And they are paying me well for doing what I love. Right. And they are seeing results and spreading the word around. That is the secret. <laughs> that is absolutely the secret. And that's and that and it's interesting because, you know, you know, so many people struggle with the concept of a target market. Um, you know, I've seen this in the mentoring group where, you know, this is a very key concept. And and I struggled myself, you know. So, I mean, like I said, I, I was focused on professionals, broadly speaking, but I hadn't nailed it until I chose coaches. Yeah, and, and the thing is that I, w what I always say is that for the ideal client, for that avatar, the qualities, the top qualities of ideal client, that is our red velvet rope policy, people that we are letting in into our business to do our best work, that I think has to be a question of principle. Yes. We should, and it's a learning process, but we should learn to say, no, yes. I'm not the best person to help you. Yes, I am the best person to help you. Let's do this, make this happen. And we, we are, it's another, the, applying the essentialism perspective here and focus in the people that we are doing our best work with. So that is a question of principle. Now, target market, I always try to remind my clients that is just a practical thing. Right. We need it. Right. It's what allow us, is that thing, oops, is that thing that allow us to keep the focus, really give us the, the, the precise, uh, is what allow, allow us to put that four watt of the energies that are dispersed in the electrical bulb in a way that will be focused in the laser beam right. of um, that is power, uh, powerful enough to really do an impact. But it's practical. Or they say, we just have to know where we can go to meet them as a group. Where, who are their influencers? How are they communicating to each other? They have to know us there as the person to go to in a, a in certain niche, in certain speciality. So if we have a group with this characteristics right. I don't, I'm not worried for instance if you were my client and say oh my target market are busy service professionals right. okay but which subgroup of the right. busy service professionals are you going to target with your market and, so and sometimes I don't like to fight with the, the words I right. just say okay to stay if you need that generical term stay with it but now let's okay what is the first group and I think you find your first group coaches right and, 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 and that really just kind of made clear for me something that I've been experiencing the last few weeks as I've really honed in on this is that, you know, we talk about target market, and I love how you said that as a practical thing, you know, whereas the ideal clients, those are really the characteristics. And these characteristics, originally when I was looking at this, it wasn't as obvious to me. You know, I mean, I, I had some basic characteristics, but it wasn't 
you know, it didn't jump out at me, but over time, as I deal with more and more clients, and as I deal with more and more people and see who I really just love working with, the reason that I made a practical decision to, as for coaches as my target market is to me, they're the ones that really have those characteristics that I love. You know, that's more. the light, that's the lifelong learner. That's the personal mm-hmm. development. That's the good listener. I mean, all these things that I just love are the personal characteristics that coaches... That most coaches have. Sure. And of course, there will always be a coach that doesn't have some of the qualities that uh, you like to work with and you should have be able to say, no, I'm not the per- best person to help you, but maybe you know somebody else that is. Absolutely. And it uh, will happen sooner or later, if it didn't already happen, somebody that is not a coach that are going to approach and, and say to you, I see the work that you are doing with these coaches or with this person, and I wonder if you also can help me. I know that I'm not the coach, but I also want to get more clients. Can right. you help me? Right. Of course, if he's the ideal, uh, if he's a person with whom you can do your best work, you're going to say yes. Yes, ab- absolutely. Um, and you know, I was just thinking that the, the interesting thing about this is that it's not about money. I mean, it's not about you know going after people with money per se. It's about really trying to find and connect with those people that share those those characteristics and that's how you really create the business and i think the money is just a natural consequence of doing your best work yeah it's the reward the money is a it represents is a representation of something and when you uh, align things and the, you structure thing right you will have economical reward for that and it's nice yes <laughs> um, we, we, um, I want to, uh, we have about three minutes to, to, to continue and just in about in the next three minutes, um, one of the reasons I wanted to, um, talk with you is that you have, you've been very successful in creating, a, a, a podcast, um, that's been recognized, I believe by the Huffington Post as one of the mm-hmm. must listen to podcasts. And so you've been very successful in this. And so. Um, just in the next few minutes, please please share um, what you can with us about your success yeah. there. And you feel free to invite me to do a special uh, talk just about that. We will dedicate for sure a half an hour to speak just about podcasting and how interesting self-promotion tool podcasting is. But like, uh, so my podcast is the Mindset Zone. So anybody that goes to iTunes, you can go to the look for Mindset, Mindset Zone, and you'll find my podcast or just go to Mindset.Zone. So instead of .com is .zone and you can find my podcast and but like like everything any other uh, marketing or self-promotion activity you decide to do you have to focus <laughs> we are, we are the team. <laughs> I think the team for this talk is focus and, 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 so, and, and that's exactly why I'm not currently doing a podcast was that you know more and more people around me are doing podcasts I'm like oh I need to do a podcast but then that thought is that watch it you know yeah. down the road maybe yeah, because I like you did so well. You show so you are a great case study uh, example, and uh, a, a person to follow in terms in the book yourself solid system. We have three essential marketing strategies that we call self promotion strategies. Right. That is networking, develop deeper relationships with people that we already know outreach, how to outreach to new people that we want to be part of our network, right. uh, and the referrals. And you start to implement that. You yes. really implement that. And then now, after that three are implemented, we can start to look to the extra right. three uh, that really adds an extra power to our business. That are things like speaking, writing, and w- specific web strategies like uh, social media strategies, uh, search um, as, uh, search engine optimization, or right. cl- click, per, uh, click per pay advertisement. I all would, that kind of things. I would take but, it so far. I mean, and this isn't this isn't necessarily your opinion. This is just my opinion. But I would take it so so far as to say, intentionally don't focus on those three optional ones until think, you've gone book solid with the mandatory totally, three. Totally, because the thing is that I always give the example that it's like the networking outreach, 
referrals and keeping in touch. That is a way of keeping develop uh, trust and credibility over time. That are like the wheels of your business. If right. you imagine your business being a car, that are the wheels. Right. Things like speaking, uh, web and writing, they can a- extra power to your engine, your right. business engine. But if you don't have the wheels on the floor, right. rolling already, right. Right. You, yeah, you're going to advance a little, but then you are losing the steam. So it's very important that you have the wheels running before you put extra power in your car. I I love that analogy. I I just thought of, you know, it's like, you know, the the speaking, writing, and web is almost like putting high-octane gas in your car, which is fantastic. But, you know, if you don't have wheels, it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay there. Exactly. exactly. (laughs) And you are not going to see the results of it. And that is when I was deciding what will be the extra thing. Because I have a blog but I'm not, writing is not what comes more natural for me. I'm it's more of a speaker. Right. Um, I like to prepare things to speak. Right. Even with my accent speaking, I know that is where my strength is. Right. So it was from there that I thought, oh, podcasting can be an interesting medium for me to explore. And then from there, I can transform the show notes and be my blog. So I thought that was a good way of using loads of things and focus on my strengths. Right. And the the reason why I really made so well in iTunes, I had a strategy. I apply loads of the Book Yourself Solid system to it. I study also at the systems that focus just on podcasting. I try to produce a high quality podcast. But then I use to in that launch time, that is the first uh, eight weeks that we have the podcast in iTunes, that when we can show in charts like the new and noteworthy that I managed to get get number one in business, management, marketing, health, health, health. Location, right? <laughs> all categories that I was in and subcategory I got there and was mobilizing my network. I had my network yes. of 90 and I've been working on that for a while so I could reach out and ask them, can you please go and review my podcast? And, and, and to me, that just goes back because this is the exact concept that I'm working on now which has allowed me to stop looking for clients and you know, essentially just look for, for partners. Um, is that it's the list of 90, it's the list of 20, yeah. and you know when you have those things in place, not only will you get more business than you can handle, but the, you know, the signs will be there that it's time to start scaling your business. But yes. I think the mistake that a lot of people do is that they want to do the podcast, but they don't have their list of 90 in place. And so that's where it just kind of sputters and doesn't go, but they have that potential to be massively successful. So because I had my network in place, because I knew how to outreach, ask for the right people and also the referrals, be able to ask for because we have to uh, really ask and beg (laughs) for the reviews in iTunes. That is so important and really almost help because it's not so easy sometimes to do the reviews and it's not the more intuitive process. So I create material to help on that. But if, if I didn't add then my homework and if I didn't add that three essential self-promotion strategies in place, I never had managed to get to, to uh, my podcast right. to be featured, e- even in things like the Huffington Post, that was the 15 podcast that will leave your, you pondering nice. life's big questions. Nice. That was like, yeah. And, um, uh, but I achieved that because I had my foundations in place. I have a structure and I, I was doing that three essential self-promotion strategies for quite a while. Yes, that, you know, um, I, think, I think right there just said it all. And let's go ahead and um, wrap it up on that note is just before we uh, finish, is there any last thoughts that you'd like to share? Just for people, uh, if, um, uh, if people listening to this recording, don't, don't give up. If things are not go- working very well, uh, it's, say, even as that when we get successful, sometimes we have our bumps in the road, okay? Absolutely. It's not, everything is not roses or Absolutely. maybe everything is roses, but remember, roses also have spikes. Ooh, so, like and it's part of the process, but please don't give up. If you know that what you have to offer 
is really important, makes a difference. You just have to learn yes. skills to be a more effective business owner. And you don't have to be born with the entrepreneur gene to succeed. Yes. You can learn the skills. Just pick something, a system like the Book Yourself Solid system, a system that resonates with you, yes. and go from it with focus, with determination, yes. Yes. and you will be able to really make a difference. I, 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 I love that final thought. I 100% agree. I think that I'm, 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 I'm essentially proof of that because I'm naturally an introvert. And, you know, all of my skills I was not born with. I, I developed the right skills because I was very passionate about creating the life that I want. And so I simply went after the skills that I needed. And there was plenty of bumps in the road. But, um, you know, I knew that I wanted to offer some, the world something. And it just took, you know, learning the skills over time, that focus. And, you know, I, I feel like I'm at the beginning of a whole new chapter in my own life where the world's getting much, much bigger for me. And, and that's why I love being a coach is that I want to help other people achieve that exact same thing because there's so many talented people in the world that can make such a positive difference and have those ripple effects. And you know, I mean, whether it's, you know, book yourself solid as Michael Port, whether it's Anna, whether it's me, whether it's someone else, you know, believe in yourself. You can absolutely make your dreams come true if you're committed to making them a reality. You can absolutely mm -hmm. do it. Well, thank you very much, Anna. It's been a pleasure, pleasure talking to you.